the basic question we're asking, is this posture correctable? But there's another, the strategy we're looking at, the bracing strategy we're looking at, is blocking the dorsiflexion. That's the strategy. We're going to stabilize the ankle in a more normal position to try to correct this joint and that joint. That's the strategy. But to do so, the knee must be extendable, the hip must be extendable, and the ankle actually must be as well. They have to have the range for all those joints to accept the new posture. And the simplest way to do it, I believe, is to apply the strategy with your hands and see what the patient can do with it. Applying an extension moment is what the brace that you're thinking about would do. By blocking dorsiflexion, you're basically applying a stop against the knee. You're saying the knee will stop here. The assessment doesn't tell you what the range limitation is. It doesn't measure each joint separately, but it's an effective way to have a clinician quickly decide whether blocking the dorsiflexion is an effective bracing strategy. And that's the context that we're talking about. Now we've talked then about correcting the patient manually to see what range is available. The other criteria that we always try to enter into is how much stability does the patient need? Do we need to be completely stabilizing or assistive or just giving uh, tactile clues? That's sort of the range of uh, stability that we could give. Tactile input, which could be just a strap that kind of gives more feedback to the patient. A brace that resists movement, that would be assistive of maintaining a posture or one that blocks movement, one that is totally stabilizing. Our goal is always to give the level of stability that mi mixes well with the patient's voluntary control. So you look for indications of voluntary control. Parents are often upset when their child is walking very, very well in an orthotic clinic. So that's not the way you're supposed to be walking. That's the way we tell you to walk when we're at home. We don't want you to walk that way now. We want you to walk like you do at home when we say walk like this, but don't do it right. And they say, this is crazy, but what they mean is don't make me look like a fool. <laughs> I brought you in here. But I think it's actually an interesting when a child can walk well for the doctor, as it were, it shows they have that voluntary control. They do it almost all children want to avoid bracing. They know if they can, so they do their very best. This is a rare footage of a child being very voluntarily compliant with their request. Can you demonstrate crouching and extension? So this would indicate that he has at least in a short cycle, uh, the control to uh, control his knees voluntarily. So that is an activity that you could do. Therapists are great tools for assessment for orthotic intervention because they have the longer view. They see the patient over a long period of time, talk to the parents a lot, and they have a sense of the trends. They also have the sense of how important the gait deviation is to the daily activities and the consequence of bracing specifically to excess dorsiflexion versus the rest of what the patient's trying to do. You're always trying to fit the brace in. In early intervention, it's really easy to overbrace children who are just learning to transition from the floor to standing. Bracing for excess dorsiflexion weakness, and that is the group that does respond to the strategy of blocking dorsiflexion. What would we expect to see at the ankle if we brace them? We'd expect to see less dorsiflexion here. What about the knee? less flexion in hip, less flexion. Spine would actually balance over the top. So we're going to improve the posture. That's going to protect from long-term contractions or at least slow them down. What about day-to-day? -day? What's going to be the benefit? What are we hoping for? Actually, it'll be the thing that we really will have to achieve to make it worthwhile. Yeah, better walking, better posture, better movement, walking further more often. Uh, looking more normal, taking better strides. So we want to change the position as a, a strategy to get to better function.